Welcome back to Rome everyone! I mean, I've just come back into this game and look, can you see there's a little mast just here sticking out of Rome. <laughs> I think that's a bit of unfortunate rendering there. I think that's the cargo ship, isn't it? Just randomly rocking in the middle of Rome. But never mind. Um, welcome back. A few things. Um, I've just sort of taken a look at this game again with a fresh pair of eyes. We're about to take Corinth, which is good. But um, I'm just seeing here as well. Do you remember we've been at war with uh, Venice for a long time now? Just basically leveling up our legion as the legion repeatedly takes the ranged attacks but there is actually a venetian swordsman clearly venice and france have open borders which is a little bit worrying i was kind of i don't know whether i wanted venice and france to be at war or not um but the presence of this venetian swordsman actually might be a little bit of a pain because he might get round and start to break all of my tile improvements so i think the time has come to make peace with uh venice hopefully they'll give me money no, they're not going to give me anything. Fine, we'll just take the piece for now. Um, one thing I have noticed, look at this. Portugal have settled right on top of Rome. I mean, that's that's really cheeky. Oh, I kind of didn't want anyone to be settling here because, you know, this is kind of Roman land. But that's that's interesting. We, Portugal might have made themselves a little bit of a target there. I mean, look how far away their capital is. That's That's rude. That's really, really rude in my book, but never mind. Um, we've got a few units to promote as well. Um, the Ballista, I kind of, with these guys, I mean, getting volley is a good thing, don't get me wrong, and I think I might have volley on maybe one or two of the other ones. Mm, uh, sorry, I say, yeah, volley against fortified units and cities. But I think, I don't know whether that would be worth it or whether I should just keep with open terrain and go for the really high level upgrade. So I might just do that for now. Um, you can see here Corinth has taken another big hit. I've got my legions here all leveling up, all doing very nicely for me. Again, we'll just get shock level 2 for now. Uh, can I attack Corinth without dying? It's unlikely actually. So let's get the other re uh, legions to attack first. Is this going to work? Will that take over Corinth? I think it probably will. Yep, we've got it. Right. Again, we'll puppet it for now. It looks like we've got dyes and crabs and more iron into our empire. So actually, all these things are quite good. Um, we'll just leave Corinth for now just to do whatever it's going to do. Actually, if I view a city... Yeah, look, the tiles, the DRR being worked. Okay, that's good. Um, but actually, this is really good. This gives me a moment to actually rest my troops up a little bit. So if I bring my troops, my legions and everything back towards Corinth in this direction like so then i can heal up uh, and i've got a choice of either attacking sparta or attacking athens next i think probably going straight for athens just to really handicap them would be a good move but it all depends on how many units they've got in athens and how many what, what these units are going to do i could probably leave one or two legions just on the borders of corinth just to stop them from coming through maybe one on this deer tile here um, and one on this hill there just to leave sort of like a triple war between Corinth and two legion um, and then go to Athens with the rest of the troops that's probably actually not a bad idea um, all of these guys are healing so I will have two ballista and at least three or four legions ready to go so actually that's not that's not as bad as it could be um, oh hello a Greek I was just about to dis embark my great general um, but there is a trireme I've just got to be a little bit careful of there so I won't do that just yet um, with five turns off civil service, that's a really good thing. We've got, look at, I mean, look at all of these grassland tiles next to fresh water. Venice, if we're not careful, is going to get absolutely huge as a city. So we've got to make sure we've, you know, we either limit the, the tiles as needed or we, um, make sure Rome is working as many of these tiles as possible. I mean, I'm just sort of, unfortunately, Rome doesn't have many fresh water farms that it can work, but maybe, I mean, just because a lot of them are hills. But actually, having hill tiles, I might convert these mines to farms. I think that probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, once we have civil service, that's not too bad. But we were building a road, weren't we? So let's just build a road to here quickly. And the reason I'm going to make the road as funky shaped is because that will minimise the distance needed to get to Antium later in the game, which will be good to see. Let's just heal all the ballistas up. Keep the great general there for a second. Um, and let's see how Greece responds. Germany have denounced us. Oh dear, because we they, they believe we're building new cities too aggressively. That's a load of rubbish. I built one. <laughs> I built one near them and one on the Italian mainland, which is so my territory. What a load of rubbish. Uh, Greece, 
What they're going to do? Yeah, here we go. Look, the trireme is now in the waters near the territory. You see, it was actually a very good thing to not bring it immediately in. Um, we've got to be a little bit careful here. My legion are far more powerful than a lot of these uh, Greek units. I'm not worried about that, but... Oh, I've got spare dies and spare crabs, actually. Six gold per turn. No, I'm going to leave that just to see if I can get a full seven or some more luxuries. We'll see. See, look. Here we go. Attila. Attila knows what I want. Um, yeah, we'll go for seven gold per turn. That's good. Um... I've got to get my great general in as quickly as possible just to, to really back up uh, Corinth. I'm trying to talk, guys, and you are really distracting me. Um, bouncing between this and that. Hang on, if I get 60 gold up front, maybe 70 gold up front and 5 gold per turn, will that do? No? 60? What will make it work? You want to take open borders from me? Uh, I don't want to give you open borders particularly. Fine, 50 gold per turn. No? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Fine, the equivalent of six gold per turn. That'll do. I need the gold at the moment. I need to be able to upgrade my troops and I need to be able to buy a library in Corinth. Um, that's the only thing I've got. As, as, as soon as Venice... Um, uh, oh, Venice is going to denounce me. As soon as Venice builds its library, I need to be building the National College in Rome as soon as possible. Um, and now that we've got Corinth, that's not going to be great. Uh, oh, okay, loads of things here. Germany's denounced me. That's fine. Somebody lost their capital. Okay, we haven't met them. It's not Egypt. It's not any of these guys just yet. I mean, look, you can see Assyria are a pretty strong force. I don't know what my scout is doing at the moment. He really is just taking forever to explore around the bits that I need him to. Um, just go go to here. Go to there. Um, but it, maybe Morocco? Maybe it's going to be either Morocco or the Goa, right? I'm thinking, possibly. Oh, it's difficult to say. Cume has finished the Colosseum. That's a really good step. Um, actually, let's just get Rome quickly to build the market. I do need to build a little bit of infrastructure. Um, I know it's it's really annoying. I do want to just be building troops over and over and over. Actually, you know what? I could be building another troop in Cume. Should we build a trireme quickly? I do need at least one boat just to explore around. Um, Belgrade is bringing a horseman against us. That's a little bit annoying, um, but we should easily beat the horseman. Uh, and you can see here, this swordsman. If I can kill this swordsman, I can move my legions closer to my own lands. Um, or do I go after that archer? I could kill the archer easily. But the archer is unlikely to do very much damage to me. These legion, you know what, for now, you guys just... You attack these guys? Ah, you see, I was kind of hoping Corinth would have a ranged attack, but I forgot that they uh, they wouldn't, unfortunately. Um, that trireme, you just hit there quickly for a second. You see, I don't want my units to be embarked when the trireme hits because that's going to be a real problem for me. You just come back onto land just for a second, for now. Um, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? You know what? There's so many troops here. Just fortify for a second, just for one turn. Get your, get your breath back. Heal up nicely. Um, let them smash into you. And if I do that, then I'm keeping all the defensive bonuses in these tiles. Do you see what I mean? I'm, they, they, these guys are all on rough terrain, so I'm going to get the 25% bonus of that if they attack me. So actually, I don't think that's a bad... No, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a good way of doing it. Um, right, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? This This is a grassland tile um, next to water. So let's... Uh, fresh water, I should say. So let's just do that quickly. Um, I think that's it for now. Antium's getting its market. Venice is getting its library. Um, how much would it be to purchase a library? Oh, I don't know just yet. I think gold, gold is important. We really do need to get some more gold. Oh, Greece has offered me a peace deal, but they want all my stuff. <laughs> Look at that. They think that I'm losing this war. That's really interesting. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not. I mean, I would accept peace at the moment. I'm not going to lie for 22 gold per turn. If you could do that for me. No. Sorry, Greece. In that case, it's not going to happen. Um, oh, loads of attacks there. What happened? What happened? Okay, Corinth was attacked. Companion... Oh, Corinth. Loads of things attacked Corinth. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. You can do that as much as you want. Because Corinth is going to survive. And if, actually, I might need to get this legion out of Corinth fairly quickly. But they've moved a spear, a pikeman onto that tile there. Which is, you know, good or bad, really. Um... How many turns worth of 
disruption have I got? Two turns. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, this this legion is. Oh, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. I kind of I need my troops to sort of get out and attack now. So hang on, blisters. You can attack this swordsman here just to do some damage. You can attack and kill that trireme. That's at least one of the attacks done. Um, I'm tempted to move my legion to attack in the archer just to give it something to think about. But I might need to attack this swordsman instead. I mean, what? What's the best thing to do here? I think this legion I'm going to embark just so that I can get this in play as quickly as possible. Uh, this legion is no longer next to someone. I should have. I should, oh, I should have attacked him before doing that. Actually, um, hang on. Let's just do that. Do some attacks. That's good. Everyone else can just heal for a second. Actually, no, this this legion, you might as well do an attack. Attack that companion cavalry for now. That's good. Uh, Kume has finished the trireme. Oh, that's because someone cut down a forest. That's fine. Right, three you come. More troops. I think more troops are definitely needed here. Um, but for now, a market. Just get me that quickly done. Uh, Legion, you know what, actually, just go go back to Antium. I need you just to fortify there and get me that extra culture per turn. Uh, I need those extra troops, actually, to do that. In fact, actually, Spearman, you go to Rome, and then you, Ballista, can wait and heal in Kume. There we go, just to give me that extra culture. Um, you wait there. Okay, for now, that's not a bad shot. I mean, the problem is, is Corinth is going to take at least three attacks here. Hopefully, it'll survive. But I don't know. It's difficult to say. France is denouncing me. We're not popular, are we? We really, we're really not popular. But that's fine. We're we're very warmongery. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. Okay, that was a lot of damage. That um, a lot. In fact, I've now got legions that are on very little health. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to play defensive here. Very well, Dido. Wow, the Greeks have a lot of troops. A lot of troops. More than I was expecting. And actually, we've got to be careful here, because otherwise we're going to lose Corinth next turn. I can get these two ballistas to fire over the over the sea to attack this swordsman. And hopefully I can kill that swordsman, which will give me a little bit more breathing room. Um, but it might be good just to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a tactical piece here. I don't know. I don't know which is which is going to work. I mean, I could lose Corinth. I could I could sort of sacrifice that to an extent. I, I mean, that's, that's a possibility. Let's just quickly take down this swordsman, hopefully. One, two, good. Corinth now has its ranged attack, which is good. Um, oh, I really want to be able to kill that companion cavalry. That's the issue. Um, we've got a legion here. This legion can land on that embarked tile. That's good. Um, this legion is healing nicely for now. You've got lots of health. I'm, I'm less convinced about you. <laughs> Much less convinced about you. I think you will take a lot of damage if I'm not careful. And you as well. You are really, really struggling. Um, siege? Do I get Siege or shall I get... Let's, let's mix it up. Let's get Shock 3 just to get some really, really advanced uh, uh, upgrades. Yeah, I'm going to have to embark this guy. So I think what we'll do is we'll land you there. Oh, the problem is, though, is my great general is going to get lost if I'm not careful. Um, oh, the problem is, oh, Byzantium, you are just in the way here. You really are just in the way. Uh, can I, can I come and rescue you? Yes, I can. Actually, I can. That legion will go to there. You can come to there. See, look, now I've completed honor as well. I'm getting some extra gold. Um, Trirem can just keep this guy safe for now. Legion, you heal up. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to get you to heal up. I'm going to get you to retreat. And I'm going to get you to retreat to the city. There we go. We may lose Corinth. This is the problem. But I think... I'm sort of getting my troops out just for the next sort of assault, if that makes sense. Um, let's embark you, get you to come across the ocean. Spearmen as well. You come into Rome and just sort of wait there for now. 
This Legion can come into Antium quite nicely. I'm expecting another French attack anytime soon. This is this is one problem I've got to keep an eye on. Um, actually, the Great General here is is good enough for now. Ah, oh, you see, I'm, I'm I think I might lose Corinth, but um, it depends if they can get melee hits in. I don't think they can get through these hills with their melee attacks. It all depends on whether how this archer can do very much damage and whether they've got lots of horsemen. Might be all right. I might be all right. Napoleon wants an embassy. Yep, fine. Let's see what Greece does. A few attacks on Corinth. Yeah, they took it, unfortunately. Um, I did lose a legion. That's that's not great. That isn't great. But uh, maybe we should have taken the peace. Maybe we should have taken the peace. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Um, I think the most important thing to do now... No, go away. I'm not giving you wine. That's just a terrible idea. Maybe we should take peace for now. I mean, I'm just trying to think of, of what we can do with our legions. Um, oh, here we go. Wine. Uh, I could... You know what? I need some salt. I need some happiness. Nope. Fine. We'll go away, Assyria. I'm not trading with you. Oh, do I go for peace? Coffee? Yes. No? Fine. Go away. I'm not trading you all this stuff. Fine, I'll take uh, seven gold per turn minimum. Seven gold per turn minimum. Otherwise, I'm, I'm not doing it. There we go. Right, Portugal's cool. Portugal's cool. Although, I think I did just trade away my last wine, unfortunately. Which wasn't very clever. Um, I might have to just think about this quickly. Resource list. Yeah, I'm trading away a crab and a die now, unfortunately. And this is because I've lost Corinth and I've lost my last two of these. Ooh, do, 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 do. Choices, choices, choices. Right. Let's have a look at the demographics. How strong a bargaining position are we in? 13th in soldiers. That's not great. That's not a good bargaining position. Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? My ballista could hit Corinth reasonably hard, but not very hard. My trireme could probably finish off that trireme there. My legion are all being upgraded nicely, but they're going to take a lot of damage soon if I'm not careful. I think I might have to piece out with Grease here. Fine. No, I mean, he wants loads of stuff from me. Uh, no, I'll take just a straight piece for now. Thank you, Greece. Um, that was a fun war, but I feel I kind of... <laughs> I got my ass handed to me in that war. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Let's put it that way. Um, we need to we need to think, sort of regroup, have a think about this. That, that wasn't the most successful war. Corinth is actually quite difficult to attack without a navy. Um... Maybe we should have attacked Athens first. I don't know. It's it's really tricky. Uh, possibly Vienna is a, is an option here, or we could go and attack Iberia, or Carthage. Uh, but Carthage now has the Great Wall. Ooh, is a, lot, a lot of early game wars are just so problematic. Even with even with our legion, um, they are just so difficult early game wars to get right. As I'm as I'm showing you guys now, I really am struggling with this war. Um, that's fine. Well, the trireme is now is now stuck in the Adriatic, but that's okay. You can kind of just wait there for now. Let's get everyone back. Um, where am I going to leave my troops? It's difficult to know where to attack, really, isn't it? I mean, I could go for Thebes. Thebes will be nice and open. Like, nice and open in terms of, like, that desert and everything. Um, Belgrade is a bit of a problem, because as long as the city-state is allied to Greece, and it will be, because Greece is really sticky... With city states, that's going to be tricky to, to get a grasp on this region. So, hmm, lots to think about. Let's just embark. Let's get my units back onto the mainland, just for now. Heal up and have a regroup. Um, Antium has now got its market. That's good, but I'm going to need you to get your circus fairly quickly, please. Um, because as long as we've got unhappiness, civil service is going to be for naught. Unfortunately, absolutely for naught. Um, Engineering is going to be very important. I want to build an aqueduct in Rome and actually having the bridges over the rivers is, is really handy as well. Uh, maybe I could go for Portugal and take over Goa. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I could put my ballistas onto this island here and take over Goa, but Goa wouldn't be doing anything for me. It hasn't got any luxuries or anything like that. Most progressive people. I don't think I'm going to be particularly progressive. I mean, Poland are always going to be up there. Elizabeth, look at that. Nine culture, uh, nine policies for Elizabeth. They don't normally go particularly cultural. Um, I've got five or six. No, seven. Look at that. I'm actually not doing too bad culturally. Fair enough. I mean, with an honor start, I was kind of expecting to be a little bit further behind there, but that's not, not too bad, actually. Um, 
no, you just stay there, Legion. You need to heal up desperately. Thing is, because I've gone honor, I need to be fighting people. Otherwise, there's just, you know, very little point. Um, I could I could settle on this land, uh, give myself a sort of staging point to make an attack. But I think at the moment, Cartage is, is going to be the most likely um, person for me to be able to attack. It's it's open. It does have the Great Wall, which is a bit of a problem, and they've got a lot of defense as well, which is a real problem. They're also going to have a strong navy, and they're trading with me. There's a lot of stuff here that would mean that I wouldn't necessarily want to attack them. But I'm running low on options, really. I mean, I don't have I don't have a particularly large amount of options of, of people to attack. I mean, I could I could go after Venice. Actually, the Zurich city wouldn't be a bad move to go after because it's got double fares and gold, and I've got none of that. Let's do that. Let's go for let's go for Zurich. I think that's not a bad idea. Um, so that means a sort of slow progression of troops up north this way. I do need to get a few more troops just in my capital or in my cities, just getting myself the honor culture and what was it called again? What was the policy? I don't remember what the name of it was called. Military cast. That's it. We need to be getting military cast um, working fully. You just come and keep my great guy safe. Splendid. And everyone else is coming north for now. Legion, you just need to come and heal desperately. 